Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Make Friends with Ryan Miller. When we first started the show, we were asking our friends, who are the high-functioning weirdos in Vermont? And five out of seven times, someone would say, you have to meet John Cohn. He is an IBM fellow. You are given carte blanche to do whatever project you want in your area of expertise. Mad scientist, professor, father, teacher, an exploder of homemade ammunitions. So let's pack up the truck, get in our Vermont vehicle, and go make friends. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Oh, he lives on this road? This is so cool. This is totally Vermont right now. We are doing Vermont in a real way. Maybe we can go over to John's house this summer, if we're friends, <laughs> and then we can go jump in the water. <laughs> Dude, so rad. Oh man, and there's a dog, it's gonna bark at me. Yeah! Oh, it's so cool! Hello. 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 Come on in, you guys. Yeah, this um, is beautiful. So it was a schoolhouse when you got it? No, yeah, I'm the third owner. Uh, it was a, it was full of dirty hippies when I owned Like it. a bunch of them. Yeah, and then for quite a few years after I owned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a quick tour. So your kids grew up in this house? Yeah, this is yeah. it's been a, a great center place. But we always have people coming through here. Let's go exploring, let's go exploring. Yeah. But. Uh, so rad. It's great, you can. Yeah, you ring the bell. This is where the lab This is awesome. Not too much interesting. Robot arm. Tesla ball. Toys. Fire toys, lots of fire toys. Those are cool. explosives right there? Uh, really explosive stuff is in there. I spent decades trying to justify being a nerd, or not, not necessarily, you know, turn people on to nerdiness, but just to say, you know, science can be beautiful and wonderful and lovely. And all of a sudden, it's cool to be a nerd. It's cool to be a nerd. Do you want us uh, to go somewhere? <laughs> Hillary, fourth yeah. wall. Do you want us to sit down? Wait, you want us to sit for a minute and talk? I was born in 1959. I went to the nerdiest school possible. I have a graduate degree, I have a PhD in one of the nerdiest you have a subjects. PhD. Did you go undergrad at MIT? Undergrad at MIT. And your As a matter of fact, I'm the, one of the education coordinator of Vomit, Vermont's own MIT club. <laughs> So, I have no backup for this, but I feel like nerdy kids like to talk to girls now. Like it's oh, not it's, just about being like, because it's, because it's sort of accepted. I thank the internet for this, is that I think that you can, if you have a creative idea, you can put it out there and people can comment on it, or you can take somebody else's two ideas and mash them up and make something really cool. And I think that people appreciate the, the freshness of that. And that, that just never existed in, you know, before yeah. 10 years ago. As I walk through my business, I know I owe it a debt. It created my profession and my career's a sure bet. Engineering's my trade and I love my degree. It was that, not my looks that got my spot on TV. It's brought the sciencey like stuff into the same realm of say music or art. Nobody works in my industry to get an answer that you already know. It's right. always about being creative. This is one of the things that bugs me so much is when I think about how we teach math or science, we teach it about like, well, you do it, and then you get the answer in the back of the book. Mathematics is just the most beautiful, creative, trippy thing. And anybody who does it for a living is all about the, you know, going to places, you know, thought experiments that never existed. My shtick right now is about play and, and uh, how important it is to have this playful spirit. You know, the self-indulgent, you know, not so worried about making mistakes. And I find that the more I talk about that, the more I, I'm talking to myself and saying, sure. like, you got to get back to that. or or really indulge that. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel the same way. And it's, you know, yeah. I know that it's just, it feels good to kind of be, to talk about it and know that this is somebody who's spent a lot of time thinking about it. You're kind of stumbling over the same truths. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh Wendy. Can I have the liquid nitrogen? Oh, you have no idea how great this is. <laughs> just another day at the house. Hi, <laughs> this is Hillary, this is Ryan, that's Nathan. Hi, how you doing? Nathan. Are you gonna have fun with liquid nitrogen? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we could blow up a bottle, or what should we do? If I have a vote, do whatever you do if I didn't have a vote. Oh my God, it's so rad. 
I love this. Okay, this is happening here. in the middle of like Vermont <laughs> in a converted schoolhouse. <laughs> yes, making friends. Which we're just making uh, m messy, soapy water. Okay. And then we're gonna blow something up with it. Woo! Science. Okay. We're doing science. Right. Okay. This this will move faster now. I promise. No, I'm not. We're in no hurry. The best part about this is this is what you guys would be doing if we weren't here. So I don't feel that is actually true. What about all the dog? Let's blow up some dog. <laughs> It's like, oh, just the neighbor, the friendly neighbor comes over with an extra little bit of liquid nitrogen. And, oh, let's go blow something up. That's not Vermont, but it's, it's my Vermont. It's my weird Vermont. It's red. This is the stand back part? Yeah. This is the, the precarious part right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That was satisfying. <laughs> this is our this is our seal. Now this is the question I always have to ask. Did we make friends? We did. I we think did. we made friends. I even said that. I even said that. I think we're gonna introduce you to some people. Uh, yeah, talk about John. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously like a force to be reckoned with. The takeaway from John is that he's a really he's a really big thinker and He's still such a kid in a lot of ways, and that's how I feel about this whole thing, is that you, you know, put your head down and you do your work and you stay open and curious and constantly learning, and he is such a living, breathing example of that. It's a great thing to see in somebody that's, you know, older than you, but hasn't lost that fire. and. Inspiring. John, good job. Thanks. Science!